All these protests came exactly because it is China's National Day. They have been corrupting our system for a very long time, and uh, they are um, taking back many of our rights. Both of the places I've just shown you are from China. You could clearly see the contrast between the beautiful parts of it and the bad parts of it. And this could be seen all the way back from ancient times. But to understand how we got here, we have to know the ancient history of China. China is a nation blending with tradition and with rapid progress. As we navigate its current landscape, we unravel the threads of ancient Chinese history that continue to influence the present. And while I would like to do all of that, I don't have a degree in history, I don't have experience, and hell, in the spirit of honesty, I'll just admit it. I got ChatGPT to write me that introduction. So I'll stick to what I know how to do. Edit, make stupid jokes, and Google all of my information. So please enjoy this video. This is The History of China Explained by Nadia. Human migration played a big role in China's past. Ancient folks were basically wandering around, discovering fertile lands and thinking, hey, let's settle down here. It's like the world's first house hunting reality show but with way less drama. These early settlers eventually formed the Shia dynasty, which composed of 16 rulers from 2070 to 1600 BCE. And you'll never guess why this empire fell. Basically, the last emperor, Ji, had the most beautiful woman in the world as his wife. Just a quick interruption, no photo of his wife exists, so enjoy this photo of, a, of an attractive Chinese lady. Had the most beautiful woman in the world as his wife but she was a cruel person. One time, she made a man-made lake out of wine. She then commanded 3,000 men to drink the lake dry, only to laugh when they all fell in and drowned. Wow, you're seriously going to ignore the fact that she's killing people? What should I do? I don't wanna get her mad. So the emperor was basically the bottom of the relationship. Add that to the fact that he was generally disliked because of his lavish lifestyle, and you have the collapse of the first Chinese dynasty. However, one quickly replaced it. Next came the Shang Dynasty, lasting from 1600 to 1046 BCE. They developed Chinese cities like Yin, which are now called Yanning. Imagine showing the people of ancient times the city. I think they would have a seizure. They also made bronze artifacts. You think today's fashion shows are something? <laughs> if there were ancient fashion shows, they'd be proudly strutting their bronze artifacts down the runway. Eventually, they fall because of several factors. The most compelling was an invasion by the Zhu people. The invasion was a real deal breaker. And soon enough, the Shang Dynasty found themselves packing up their bronze artifacts and making way for the new rulers. The Zhao Dynasty lasted from 1046 to 256 BCE. In the early days, regional leaders would basically beg for power with the emperor. This lasted until the leaders grew some balls and stuck it to the emperor, which began the Eastern Zhao period, where the regional leaders and the emperor were caught with their pants down in the middle of a full-blown power struggle. After that was the Warring States period, marked by a massive civil war of sorts, which left nearly 1.5 million dead. While Europeans were still figuring out how to farm and chilling in caves and shit, these Chinese were already marching thousands into battle. After the bloody civil war, the Qin turned out victorious, and I shit you not, the Qin general gave the order for 400,000 prisoners of war to be buried alive. Despite the grim situation, the Qin Emperor claimed it was a groundbreaking strategy in waste management. Get off the stage! So anyway, after that came the Qin Dynasty. This was basically an authoritarian's dream. This leader was so paranoid, probably binge watching too many conspiracy theories during the Warring States period, he was like, no more of that chaos, thank you very much. To avoid the rerun of historical drama, he ordered everyone to be loyal to the government. In fact, he was so paranoid that he began the construction of a Great Wall of China. But, eh, uh, I'm sure he has nothing to worry about. Little did he know that centuries later, we'd all be admiring it as a tourist attraction, instead of a supersized paranoid fence. The Qin Dynasty was quickly replaced for the Han Dynasty, who were basically geniuses that didn't just stop at imperial takeovers. They were the brains behind everything from paper to clocks to silk, and even irrigation. However, with this quick rise, also came a quick fall. In order to understand what happens next, you need to know what eunuchs are. Eunuchs' jobs were to advise the emperor, but often, they would convince the emperor to give them riches. Hey, so, uh, what if I had a Lambo? Dude, are you serious? The people would kill me. Aw, come on, man. Just let me have it. Fine. This type of corruption was so common, the peasantry, probably overhearing these conversations, finally had enough. 
Oh man, what about us? They shouted in unison. It turns out they also wanted to have their own Lambos, or at least a fair share of the economic prosperity, so they revolted against the Hans in the Yellow Turban Rebellion. This rebellion was surprisingly effective against the government. I mean, the people who made paper, clocks, silk, and irrigation can't even stand up against some peasants? The Han Dynasty got a reality check. You can have all the paper and clocks in the world, but if the people aren't on your side, your dynasty is on shaky ground. Anyway, that is the video of Chinese history for now. I would have made this video longer or would have made it um, cover more dynasties, but I'm tired and finals week is coming up. So yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, have a good day and enjoy uh, this blooper scene of me trying to say lavish lifestyle. And to add, and add, add that to the fact that he was generally disliked because of his lavish, add that to the fact Add that to the fact that he was generally disliked because of his la- Add that to the fact that he was generally disliked because of his la- I'm not fucking- Add that to the fact that he was generally disliked because of his- Add that to the fact that he was generally disliked because of his- Add that to the fact that he was generally disliked because of his- Add that to the fact that he was generally disliked because of his- his lavish lifestyle, his lavish lifestyle, his lavish lifestyle.